What is up guys? Welcome to another video. Hope you guys are all doing good. In this video, we're gonna break down Drake's diss track to everybody. Now, Academics is hyping this one like this is the second coming of Christ. And I have to be honest with you guys, this is not it. This is a garbage track. It feels like Drake just came off tour and just directly went into the booth and just started rapping like yes drake is one of the best and you can hear it like you can hear like whoa like he's flowing and i do not know if this is ai we also have to put that out there we do not know that if this is ai or not but if this is drake it sounds like he's flowing his flow is pretty good but it's not finished and I don't even understand why they would leak this because it's not finished, you can hear it. Academics got a little trigger happy, I think. Maybe he, I don't even know why, why would Drake release this? Because it's not finished, it's not, it's not there. It's, it's almost like he's creating a masterpiece and then somebody's like, oh, it's good enough, it's good enough. I'm like, bro, like, let him work, let him release it in his own time. Or maybe he's also testing of the waters. It could be that he's testing the waters. He's like, okay, let me release this one. But it's not like charged up. It's not like back to back. Um, back to back was way, way better than this. And I think that Drake has cast a shadow on his legacy with back to back because back to back is one of the greatest diss tracks of all time. I put it in my top three. Star of Adidon, back to back and then hit him up it feels almost like he went in just after the tour and created something just to appease everybody which has been on drake so he's like let me release something it doesn't feel that serious so if i'm being honest guys i think that kenrick lamar if he comes out with his apparent diss track which everyone is raving about he might just take this rap battle home i think this is a garbage take because it just doesn't hit it's just not a slapper and this is the thing which i said in the previous video i said if drake is going to come he's going to have to come hard no diddy it's it's not it's not doing anything for me if i'm being honest i i listened to it three maybe four times and i'm just like nah it, it's not giving anything i think right now if we compare kendrick's verse to Drake's, I think Kendrick is winning. I never looked at Metro like one of the greatest like producers. Honestly, I, I've kind of like shaded Metro a lot and thought he was just like, mm, he's a subpar producer. He's not really like the guy, but if I'm being honest, bro, Drake needs some Metro beats right now because that one ain't it. That one in it. I don't know if 40 is like super tired or I don't know if he's overworked or I don't know what's going on, but like get a decent producer. And this is something which I don't understand as well. Like I've heard like what Drake has had a lot of problems with a lot of producers and it kind of feels like bro, like he's he's on an island all by himself and then he's like creating almost like these like like he has created his own genre and that genre is becoming like super boring right now. I call it what the stadium music. Stadium music is like, it's reserved for certain albums. You can't just constantly be doing stadium music to everything. And back to back that stadium music, this, this song or what he's trying to create here is also straight stadium music. And the problem which I have with this diss track is just that it's very, one dimensional it's like the same loop over and over and over and over like i don't know, do something with the voice maybe you take away the beat and then you rap or do like anything like you could they could extend it or anything like i don't understand how come you're working with some of the greatest producers and you can't even like produce a hit if i'm being honest i don't think that this is real i think it's ai it just seems like maybe academics wants to troll the internet and officially, I don't think that this is how Drake would want to release his diss track. 
I think that academics is trolling everybody right now and just wants us to start talking about it and I don't know maybe put himself in hip-hop history as the guy that leaked this but if I'm being honest I have to believe that Drake this can't this can't have come from Drake's camp there's no way it just it feels like I mean the bars are there he is he's going at everybody he's, he's doing what I thought that Drake would do it's just disappointing because he doesn't really have any ammunition it doesn't feel like it's anything nuclear like I didn't hear this this track and I was thinking like oh, oh my god that's something new or like he said something crazy there like Almost like the story of Adidon. I don't even know that Drake had a son and that he slept with a porn star and got her pregnant. And it's just like, there's a lot which was happening there. And even what ASAP Rocky just released something right now when he's going at Drake where he says something about like him sleeping with his baby mama before him. And it's like, that's, that's nasty. So I hope that this is AI because if it's not and this is the real the actual response i think that drake is losing the battle right now and i think if kenrick releases his diss track then it's just a, just a little bit better than this garbage then uh then i gotta give it to kendrick but anyway guys to summarize my thoughts when it comes to this i thought that drake's bars are there um, he didn't do anything crazy and I don't think it has any replay value that's that's what I really hate about it uh, so I think that now a lot of people are going to talk about it and a lot of people are going to almost jump over to Drake and they're going to be like oh my god Drake oh, this is this is the greatest thing ever but I'm here to tell you the truth this isn't the greatest diss track ever back to back was way better um melody wise this one just feels like a freestyle and if i'm being honest this is garbage even even charged up was way better than this uh lying on your dead mama on your dead mama lying on your dead mama bruh the the shit which Nicki minaj released was better than this so i'm like i don't know there's something going on in hip-hop right now and, and if I'm being honest, it feels like Drake is exhausted. feels like he's exhausted. He's just been on tour and he has to go up against Kendrick. But you know, this is the thing that we do not appreciate about Drake. And something which I admire about Drake is that, bro, the guy's always on. He's always doing something. Honestly, I don't know if the guy has seen when he is going to pass, but he feels like Drake is going to die soon because, bro, the way he is moving and the way he is releasing all these songs and he's just he's he's on another level drake if i'm being honest he's on another level so then again i'm grateful that he released it or he released it or leaked it through dj academics i'm grateful that this is going to be a hip-hop moment but not really because it's like uh, i think we're going to forget about this diss track very quickly but uh yeah those are my thoughts when it comes to this song this diss track leave it in the comment section what you guys think do you think that it's it's a hit or do you think that it's garbage i think it's garbage i think it's trash i think it doesn't have any replay value and i think we're gonna forget about it within two weeks no it's gonna be like oh my god that that drink this it's like it's gonna just be like aha okay yeah uh, what's the next thing <laughs>